Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. In this video, we're going to look at the edit module of On One Photo Raw. The edit module is where you do all of your retouching, your post-processing, stylistic editing. All that happens inside edit. This video, we'll look at the interface, how it's laid out, and where all the tools are. In other videos, we'll get into actual post-processing of photos. So let's have a look at the edit module. From left to right, on the very far left, we have all the various tools available to us. We have a list of the presets that can be applied. So if you're looking for just a quick application of a stylistic look, you can see those here with the thumbnails, get an idea of what it's going to look like on your photo. Across the top, we have a toolbar, and this is a contextual toolbar, meaning the controls change based on the tool you've selected. For example, if I choose the crop tool, we'll get crop controls. I can check the ratio, I've got width and height, I can do leveling, and of course in the main viewing area I have the controls for the crop itself. On the right hand side we have in the top a navigator, levels, and info. The navigator is if we are zoomed into a particular region of our photo, you can see what area of the photo is being displayed and what outside remains that you cannot see in the preview area. Levels is our histogram. This is very handy to have open when you're adjusting controls down here, so you can make sure you don't blow any highlights or clip any shadows. The info tab has basic information about the photo itself, details on the camera settings. In case you want any of that information, you don't have to bounce out of the edit module. You've got it available to you right here in the info tab. Moving downward, we have a layers area. You can add multiple images to your photo and work in a layered workflow. It's completely non-destructive. You've got all the controls for masking, for blending modes, everything that you would expect in a layered workflow available right in the edit module. Next, we have the develop effects, portrait, and local tabs. Develop is for your global adjustments, camera profile, overall exposure and contrast for the scene, highlights and shadows, other global changes such as details, lens correction, or if you need to do any transformation to correct vertical or horizontal shift. Other than tone and color, which is present for every photo, you can turn off and on any of these other options. Lens corrections, for example, in turning it off and on, I get that immediate feedback on what it's doing to my overall photo. In the effects area, we have a whole variety of stylistic filters. Hovering over them will give you a basic idea of what that filter does, and clicking on any one of them adds it to your filter stack. I have a few that are on this photo, and like you saw in Develop, we can turn off and on any of these filters at any time. I can turn off the split tone, turn it back on, just to see how that's interacting with the other filters I have on my photo for the overall look. Now, when you're in the Effects module, you also, on the left-hand side, have presets and a new filters tab. So these filters here match the filters in the add filter area. And so the difference being if you prefer to work visually, you can highlight one of these filters and get a small preview of what this filter would do to your photo if you were to add it. These are the same controls that we have if I were to add that bleach bypass filter here. There's a few of them, normal, lighter, darker, strong, and then other looks in here as well. Those are all available on the left hand side. So if you like to work visually, you can use the filters tab on the left side. If you like to work with known quantities or things that you know you want to add all the time, you can work on the right hand side. The portrait tab is specifically for portrait photos. When you first activate it, Photo Raw will scan the photo looking for faces, and if it finds them, it will draw wireframes around eyes, around lips, give you some controls for skin tone to smooth things out. Uh, this, of course, doesn't have any, any faces in it, so this is disabled, but that's what the portrait module is for. And local is for your final finishing touches. You can add various adjustments. Each adjustment has common controls, so all of these controls are the same. If I add a second adjustment, I'll see those same controls here. And this you know, covers your basics of exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, the same types of thing we saw in the global settings for develop, but this is for fine tune work. If you need to do any dodging or burning, or maybe just darken a little bit of the sky or brighten up a foreground, those are the things you can do with the local adjustments. 
Now at any time that you're working in edit, if you notice something in the photo, a dust spot, an object that you want to remove, or a blemish you want to retouch, you can reach over for the fix tool. And you get a few options. You have the perfect eraser, which is content aware fill, a retouch brush for smooth areas, as well as clone stamp. So all of these retouching tools are available in the edit module, no matter which tab you're working in. If you're working in develop, effects, portrait, or local, and you notice something, you can take care of it right away with any one of the retouching tools. Now my typical workflow in the edit module is to start and develop and do my global adjustments, take care of any obvious retouching I need to do, and then move into effects for stylistic treatments with filters and finish it off in the local adjustments for any fine detailed work like dodging and burning. So that is the edit module in Photo Raw. In the next several videos, we'll be using the edit module a whole lot to do some post-processing of a variety of different photos.